Genshin Impact Reroll Method 110. That's right. Uh, it's a 17 step process that can guarantee you give or take 58 to 59 pulls if you're not lucky, 57. Well, if you're lucky, 57. All right. Um, so it starts off, well, that, you know, the luckiness depends on Stardust. Stardust is calculated for every one pull that is three star or below, you get 15 Stardust. Uh, all right. And assuming we take the pity system into account, out of 10 pulls, all right, you get one four star. That means nine out of 10, you get Stardust. So nine times 15 equals. 135 stardust then that is calculated here so this is your stardust balance account and when you reach adventure rank 7 you get 10 intertwined fate and you get 12 acquaint fate as of this recording and you don't get 3680 gems all right you're gonna have to do the venti trial you're gonna have to get the luxury chest and to what you might call it teleports to get this, it's, it's fairly easy, probably an extra 7 minutes of game time on the account, which I, you know, it's worth it, it's more efficient this way. So just, you know, do your best, get the 3680 Primo Gems on your account, and we're good to go. So it starts off with this, so standard, standard, the standard banner is basically the current Jean Diluc banner with the weapons and the, the, the banner that no one recommends. Uh, unless you already maxed the venti and character event is the venti banner so whatever character is currently on next month might be Klee and then Zhongli and whatever that's the character event Novice that's the Noeli banner but you get Noeli guarantee no matter what all right and shop that's shop and then there's also the weapon event we're not gonna touch that and perfect so this is how it's gonna work all right you're gonna do one pull and then you're gonna do 10 pulls then one pull then 10 pull all on different banners all right, that's the method we're going to be testing out for science in this video. All right, so how this works is that, all right, so this already balanced here. So we're going to do one pull using one equate faint, all right, and then you're going to get Stardust, all right? Then after that, you're going to do the character event. You're going to spend all your intertwined fates on that, then you're going to have zero, and you're going to get estimated 135, unless you get five star, then boom, you're good. And then after that, you're going to do a character event one pull, on Primo Gems, then you're gonna go to Novis and do a 10 pull that only costs 8 intertwined fate. That means you're gonna have 3 intertwined fate left. I mean, a coin fate, sorry. And then this is the Stardust you're gonna get. And then after that, you're gonna do a standard again. One pull using your acquaint fate, you're gonna have two more acquaint fate left. Then you're gonna go back to the character event, do a 10 pull using 1600 Primo Gems to hopefully get a 5 star, if not, you're gonna get 135 estimated stardust, estimated, you're gonna get 135 stardust estimate, which will give you a total of 450 estimate stardust, give or take, then you can go to the shop and buy 5 more acquaint fate, uh, honestly, you have enough to buy actually one more intertwined fate, but, you know, estimation are taken into account that you might not be able to buy it, because, you know, stardust is a variable, so I actually, you know, this is an allowance, so that's also taken into account and into consideration. Then right after that, we're going to go into the character event and do a one pull. That's on the Venti banner currently. That's going to be 160 Primo Gems. And then we're going to do a Novus 10 pull. That's going to cost you 8 Primo Gems. So based on the math, we already have 7. So we're going to use 7 Acquaint Fate plus 160 Primo Gems to you know shoulder the, 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 the cost of the missing Acquaint Fate. And then after that, we're going to go back to the shop because we have enough in the shop to actually buy one more uh, intertwined fate, which is, is we're going to need so that we can actually maximize our Prima Gems. Then after that, we're going to do a standard 160. For, perfect. And then after that, we're going to do a 10 on the character event page. Then we're going to have zero Primo Gems at this point. That's how this should work out. All right? I have not tested this yet, but that's how this should work out. And then we're gonna go back to the shop, buy all the intertwined fate that we can. That's all. That's four. We should have exactly enough, hopefully. If not, then uh, GG. But you know, that's why I said give or take. Then we're gonna do single pulls for the rest, and then just pray for luck. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Black Hero, and in this video, we're gonna be rerolling on seven adventure rank seven accounts using the method 110 right it's gonna it's called the reroll method 110 not 110 but 110 that is right we're gonna see if this actually yields any benefits but again there is no guarantee that you're gonna get any five star or anything all right this is a gotcha game this is all rng we're just doing this because 
it's more efficient all right there is actually a laid out path on how you roll how you spend your primo gems your intertwined fate how you spend your stardust how you buy your stardust you know and like i said at the end of the day we're just aiming for efficiency because you're going to be re-rolling on a bunch of accounts just to get the golden pull all right so we are right here we got Lumin here with his dog Hachiko. All right, this is our good luck seat again. <laughs> you know, yeah, we have our own good luck seat. All right, so we're gonna start off with this event. So again, just for clarification, this is the Novi's banner. This is the character event wish banner. This is the weapon event wish banner. We're not gonna go in be going here, and this is the standard wish banner. All right, so again, as with the spreadsheet that I'll be leaving in the description below, we're gonna be starting with one wish here. And then, of course, you're gonna get nothing, all right? But if you do, then wow. And then we're gonna go do a 10 pull on the Venti banner right away. Spend all the intertwined fate. And we got a purple, so we're gonna skip that. What did we get? We got a book. Perfect. And we got Stardust, so yeah, you got Stardust. Then we're gonna use Prima Gems here, right? On the Venti banner or the character event banner. We're gonna skip that. And then we're gonna go do the Novi's banner. We're gonna do a 10 pull here using only 8 acquaint fate. And it's purple. Okay, cool. And then after that, we're gonna go do one on the standard banner, which is the Deluk Jean banner, which is gonna be a 10 pull. We're gonna skip. And then we're gonna go here on the Venti banner, do a 10 pull using 1600 Primo gems. And that should. Come on! It's purple. Okay. So what do we get here? Oh, we got Chung Yun. Wait, Chung, Chung, Chung Yun? Is that? Yeah. Ch Chung Yun. Alright, we got Chung Yun and Barbara. So that's that's not bad. And 120 of those. And then after that, we're going to go to the shop. Right here. And then Paimon's Bargain. Then we're going to use our Stardust to buy all the Acquaint Fate we can. Possibly. Yeah, see, you can't buy one Intertwined Fate. Because of the, depending on the, 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 the characters you get. Then after that, we're going to do one Venti. Which is gonna cost like one Primo Gem. Alright, 160 Primo Gem. Perfect. And then it is a nothing. And then we're gonna go here and do the Noel Lee banner or the Novice banner, doing a 8 pull using a C7, a Queen Fate, and we're gonna use 160 Primo Gem, just like I said in the spreadsheet. And we got purple. Perfect. We're gonna get Noel Lee guaranteed. Oh, Bennett! Nice! And this hero, that's a good pull. That is a good pull. Honestly. So what's this guy's name? This is Xing Chu. All right, so we got Bennett and Xing Chu. Perfect. All right, then after that, we're gonna go to the shop. Again, buy one. We're just gonna need one. We're gonna need one. All right, only one intertwined fate. So redeem that. You can buy two if you want. Just but for this sake, we're gonna buy one because we're still gonna go back there to buy more anyway. Then we're gonna go here. You spend 160 Prima gems on this yes that's right okay so confirm All right so if my math is correct we should be on track to actually doing stuff yes i know this method is complicated but it works so there we can actually do that see exactly so at the end of this you're gonna have zero primo gems so how efficient can you get we're gonna do a temple and just pray that it's a whoa okay all right who are we getting kitchen please please all right, are we recording? Okay, so first account, we already got a five star. So, come on, Kiching. All right, by the way, we're rolling for Kiching here. So, please, please, Kiching. All right, hearts pounding. Come on, cat girl. Where are you? Where are you? Are you? Oh, it's Venti. <laughs> oh, it's it's Venti. Alright, I'm happy to get a venti on this account, but we're we're looking for Kaching by the way, so Yay Venti! Perfect. So yeah, again, this method is just it's not guaranteed. Again, this is just pure RNG, but again, we're just after efficiency and a method. Alright. I wanna have a method for re-rolling. Like a a re-roll guide that actually is highly efficient. Look at that, zero, zero, all right? See that, you used everything up and then you can actually go to the shop and still do single rolls. Oh, if we could, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. You can buy like three, all right? See, ideally you should be able to buy four, but depending on the rolls, if you're lucky, you won't be able to buy it all, all right? Oh, wait, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I did not take this into account. It's up to you, honestly. But you can use Star Glitter to buy this. And might as well. I might as well. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. We got four rolls. Alright. Ka-ching. Alright. Venti Banner. That's it. We're all in Venti Banner. Okay. Cool. Come on. Come on. Gold. Nope. Not gold. <laughs> Please. Please. Ka-ching. This would be perfect. Venti Ka-ching. I like... Honestly, the odds are really, really low right now. So, I'm not expecting anything. But still, you don't know. Oh, there's the pity. There is the pity. And fish shield. Top it off. This is not a bad account, honestly. But we still got one roll. Who knows? I don't know. You know? No. Alright, so that's this. So yeah, we're going to be doing this method again on, on six more other accounts. So moving on to the next one. Alright, we are now on account number two. We're going to start off with a one pull here. Using one point fake. And we should get a purple. Okay. <laughs> That's... Alright, cool. Alright, got a Xingxu. And then we're going to do the Venti Powder. We're going to do a 10 pull here. And that should yield us a purple. I thought that was gold. Alright, it looked... Oh, I missed it. I missed the skip. I missed the skip. Alright, so we're going to have to skip this. What are we going to get? We'll find out. We got Sucrose. Okay, Sucrose is a good Anemo character. And then, come on, are we going to get another character? No. Alright, cool. Then after that, we're going to do a 1 here using 160 Primo Gems on the character of Wish Banner. We're going to skip that. And then we're going to do a 10 pull here on the Novice Banner, which is currently Noelle. And that is purple. Skip. Wow, not bad. We got, we got Razor. And Xiang Ling. Okay, that was a good roll. That was a good roll. Alright, then we're gonna go back here to the standard banner. Do a one pull here using one acquaint of fate. And that should be nothing. Alright, perfect. And then we're gonna go here to the venti banner. You spend one six, 1600 prima gems. That should do the trick here. And it's a purple. Alright, we're gonna skip that. And we got Xiang Ling. So yeah, you can actually do Constellation now. We got 135 Prima Gems. I mean, Stardust. Then we're going to go to the shop. Uh, and then buy all the Acquaint Fate. Here, all five. Because you can. Yeah, you don't have enough to buy the Intertwined Fate. As I predicted. And then you're going to do one Venti. Spending 160 Prima Gems here. And then skip that. And then do the Novice Banner, or Novice Wishes, spend pull 7, Acquaint Fate, and 160 Prima Gems here. Which is beautifully perfect. And, alright, it's a purple. It's a purple, confirm. Oh, I missed it. Okay, what are we gonna get? We already got Noelle, so I'm just guessing Barbara. Alright, come on. Let's... Oh, another Sucrose. Alright, this account got Sucrose already. Alright, go back to the shop. Alright, remember, I'm just following the steps that I laid out in the spreadsheet. Uh, we're gonna buy one intertwined fate, even though you can buy two. Then go back to the wish. Alright, we're gonna do one of this. Confirm. Just one. And then skip. That shouldn't be purple. It shouldn't. I'm like, if it is, gold. Alright, and then here you go. Do a 1600 here. Uh, which should be enough. Then, alright, just pray that it's gold. And it's not. Alright, so yeah, like I said, the, this is not a method that will guarantee anything. So we got Fisho. Uh, but it is a method that is highly efficient when it comes to spending your resources that aren't easy to come by. I guess, I guess. There's actually a way more efficient way because, you know, not going to the standard banner because, you know, why not? But, you know, I'm just we're just testing this out. So why not? False science. Alright, so we're going to go to the shop. Uh, and then, you know, do this. Paimon's Bargain, and then exchange. Buy all that you can. You can only get three for this. 30 left. We're gonna do three pulls. We probably should have enough if we get nothing to actually buy the last one. So, let's go. Let's do uh, singles. Single pulls. And that is... It's a purple. Confirm. What is it? It's a sword. Sacrificial sword. Alright, so you did not get dust from that so yeah we won't be able to actually buy the last intertwined fate that i mentioned so that's bad all right so we're gonna be moving on to the next account right now 
We are now on our third account, and uh, all right, come on, Kaching, where are you? Uh, we're gonna be doing a single there, and then a ten pull here. Please turn, turn go, turn me, not turn go. Why? Why did you betray me? I really got the Xiang Ling from that. And then we're gonna do a single here. Confirm. All right, remember the math has been done. As long as you have 36 80 Prima gems. And you know, you did your stuff right. You should exactly end up at zero. And turn! <laughs> okay, alright, we got Noelle from that. Alright, we're gonna do a one from this. Standard banner. Uh, and then... We're gonna do a temple here, spending 1600 Prima gems. As usual, Kuchi, go, 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 go! What? Alright, uh, let's get that. We only got even a sword, okay. And then we're gonna go to the shop. Alright, RNG boys, RNG. And Stardust, buy all the acquaint fate that you are deemed. Oh, you can actually buy one, might as well. Cause you can, cause you can. If you can, do it already, you'll save time. Then after that, you go here, you do one of these, you see. Perfect. And then, uh, nope, I didn't skip. I did not skip, all right. And then you go here to the this banner. Perfect, the moon though. And no, right, purple. All right, what do we get? We got, we got Bandit. Perfect. And then you're gonna do a single here. You got, we can spend that one six sixteen hundred or one one sixty Prima gems. I'm like, if you can get a gold with this method on the this banner, then that's just RNG. All right, we're gonna do a ten pull. Spend all the sixteen hundred gems. See if you buy the infrequent fate, you don't have to go back to the shop again. And it's still purple. And it's still purple. Why? Right, oh, I didn't skip. Oh, you got official. I really want to do singles, but um, we're testing this method for science. I'm like, at the end of the day, when you roll, you roll, right? Right? All right, so we got Barbara and official on this one. And then we can actually end this off. I'm like, you never know. You never know. By going to the shop, uh, buying all the intertwined of fate that you possibly can. Only three. That's unfortunate. And then go back here to the wish. Do single pulls to end it off. And just pray, just pray that you get Kaching or Mona. I'll be happy with either. But you know, Kaching would be awesome. All right, let's do the. Oh, All right, last pull. It's a purple and it's official. It's a book. It's the wins. All right, so we are now on the fourth account again. As you, as with this method, the 110 method, we're gonna do one pull here, and then. We're gonna do 10 pull on the venti banner using all the primo gems I got. I just pray! And it turns gold. If it doesn't, then you skip it. And you do one pull here. And then you skip. And then you do 10 pulls here. On the Novus banner, the Novelli banner in! And it's not. It's purple. You got Noelle guaranteed. Then you do one pull here on the standard banner. As you should. Skip that. Exit out. And then you do 10 pulls here on the character wish. Character event wish banner. Come on. Kaching. Kaching, 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 Kaching. Where are you, Kaching? Oh, uh, we got you. Cool. Cool. Then you go to the shop. And then you buy your stardust all of it and you should be able to afford one more intertwined fate if you're not lucky so that's unfortunate if you can go back to the shop do one venti because you have one intertwined fate and it's not gold obviously and then you go do a temple and just pray that you get the god roll come on it's purple that's purple all right we got you again. Wow. Cool. Go back here. Do one of these. Kind of firm. Go down. That does not turn in a good world. And then back to Venti Banner, please. Come on, Kachin. Where's the yellow? My favorite color. Not my favorite color. Not a good rule. Alright, so there's official right there. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, we should actually be able to hit Pity in the next one, so 
we'll get a, well, it's guaranteed we're gonna get a purple so we're gonna go buy all in on the intertwined fate we can get three of those 60 we can actually still go back and buy more uh so go to the shop and do one last pull so that's good at least all right not this whoops uh then it should be this one and it's if it's per yellow no okay all right we should get pity soon on this one this is pity okay interesting so that's not how that works all right so we can go back to shop and then you know just finish it off you know if we're going to be as efficient as possible just buy all the intertwined fate that you can on a bad roll you can unfortunately come on, this should be pity i'm not sure it's purple yeah and we got bishop we are now on the fifth account. Uh, you probably, you guys know the drill by now. Uh, 110 pulls. Yeah, it's not looking so good. So at least we tried. You know, we did it for science. But you know, it's, it's interesting. That, that, that did not turn gold. That's okay. We didn't even get a character. All right, it's actually proving to not actually be even good. All right, I'm actually already thinking if, like, you know, the first one might have been just luck. But yeah. Alright, but, you know, we'll try a different method in the next one. Again, at the end of the day, it's RNG. That's purple. Alright, all we really want is sketching. Uh, we got Razor and Noelle. That's cool. Alright, we're gonna do one more roll here. But this is highly efficient, so... Whichever method I'm gonna come up with next, hopefully it's gonna be highly efficient as well. Alright, so come on. Turn. Turn on me. Turn on... No, don't turn on me. Don't do that. Stay. Wow, double Barbara. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. And we go to the shop. Is there a shortcut for shop? Alright. Buy all the quaint fate that you possibly can get your hands on. And we go back. We are here. And then we're gonna do one of Venti Pool. Confirm. And of course nothing. And then we will go to Noelle. Do that. We'll do a temple. Yeah, yeah. No. Alright, confirm. Alright, we still got one 10 pull. Remember, there's, we can do at least at most 59 pulls on this. Alright, we go back to the shop. Right. Um, famous bargain. Buy one intertwined fake. Because you can. You're going to go back to the shop anyway. And then we're going to go do Gene 1. Here we go. Confirm. Gene Diving. Alright, but we want catching. Please, Kitching, Mona, Kitching, where are you guys? Where are all of you? Huh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. no. Wow, bad rolls, bad pulls, bad pulls, everyone. These are not good. Alright, Paimon's a bargain. Alright, yeah, so do that. You can actually even go back and just buy that last intertwined fate for high efficiency. And. Let's do this. Skip. Confirm. Escape. One. Skip. Confirm. Escape. One. Skip. Confirm. Escape. Back. Shop. 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 And then we'll buy the last one here. To redeem. Perfect. Then back here. And we should get pity. Maybe. No. Not maybe. Alright. To the next. Second to the last account, our sixth account here, and so far no kaching. We did get one venti, but you know, yeah, I might just stick to singles unless this turns gold. No, no, did not turn gold. And yeah, we're not even getting characters. We're just getting weapons. What's up with that? What is up with that? All right, confirm. Can you do this? Please. Nah, that's a purple. That's a purple. Alright, cool. Shoot you. Alright, we do one of you. Right? Yeah. I'm like, you know, you guys can try this or not. So far, it's not looking good. So, alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yellow. Purple. Purple? Purple. Alright, then you go to the shop. Yeah, I pretty much memorized it. 
by now what I'm actually supposed to do. So you see, that's the cool thing about having a method of rerolling. Alright, if you haven't learned anything from this, alright, then it's actually just to have a method of rerolling. You know, that way, you know, you're consistent with every roll. And that's a purple. Okay, let's just see it. That's minus one. Xiangling, perfect. Alright, we're gonna do a 10 pull here. Using only 8 of Queen Fates. And it's a, it's a purple. Razor, just, just Razor. Just, just Razor. Actually, we can actually do a single pull here. Confirm. Yeah. And then... Yeah, so yeah, the 110 method, yeah, not as good as it should be. Alright, you need 20. Alright, we need actually to go to the shop. Alright, so I undercalculated that. So, shop, Parma's Bargain. Can you buy two? Then, then go here. Then uh, do 18 pool. Perfect. Let's see what we're gonna get. One Barbara. Just one Barbara. Then we go back to the shop. Let's finish this off with singles. Buy all the intertwined fate that you can. And we actually might be able to go back to the shop yet again. And just do single pulls. Alright, you know, if we get... Ah, purple. Who are we getting? Barbara again. Okay. So that's the pity. So I highly doubt that we're going to get anything in our next following rolls to come. Unless RNG is just like, you know, highly up there. Alright, insufficient funds even. Okay, so yeah. There, next account. Last one. Last account, 7th account. Basically, this is a 20, 25th account that I've re-rolled on. Alright, in total. So... Alright, honestly, you know, after actually realizing this, this method is... Yeah, don't, don't do it, guys. It's, it doesn't look really good. I'm like, might as well go all in on the Venti banner. Don't do the standard banner. Just do the character wish event banner. That's much better to do. Noelle, of course, you gotta do this. It's, it's really good. You know, like, if you get a gold here... That, that's just beautiful. All right, the first one was just luck, I guess. I'm like, that's that's how this works. It's RNG. It is RNG. So we're gonna skip that, then do a 10 pull here. But you know, I I'm, we're gonna stay committed to this method, this 110 method, till the very end because that's what all good scientists are, are right? All right, Prima's bargain. I'm like, who knows? Maybe we can pull uh, <laughs> a ching here. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. So we can actually do that. Go here. Do this. Open with this. On the venti banner. And then we go here. And then we'll pull a yellow here. And it'll just be beautiful, right? Turn. No? Alright, skip. Cool. Really bad rolls. Really bad rolls. Alright, we're gonna do a one here. Confirm. Okay, go. Cool. And then skip, confirm, go back here, shop, do a 10 pull, confirm, and, and, yes, Kaching, please, alright, last roll, last roll, alright, okay, who are we getting, guys, who, who are we getting, okay, again, this is RNG, alright, it's not the method, alright, I still prefer singles, but, oh, the other <laughs> Yeah, Venti is high up there. Venti is high up there. Official. Uh, Alright, so we got two Ventis in the span of seven accounts. That's not bad, I guess. But I'm, I'm going back to singles. Or I'm going to try this new method I thought that's going to build up pity and then just drop 10 singles. We're going to do that in the next one. But our quest for <laughs> Kaching will still continue. Well, you know, who knows? Maybe I can still pull off a Ching here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, did I claim all? Yeah, we did. Alright, we're actually going to the shop. And we're going to do Bargain. We're going to buy all the intertwined fate that we possibly can get our hands on. And we can still buy the last one. We're going to use... We don't have enough star glitter. And then, you know... Alright, these are going to be the last pulls. The single pulls. Alright, best of luck. The odds of getting another... Uh, five star is low, but a, a ka-ching on this account will be beautiful. 
Just beautiful, please. Come on. We got two more pulls. Let's get a yellow. Let's get a yellow. Show me the yellow. Come on. Please. RNG. Yeah. Nice uh, purple. <laughs> and we got a sacrificial sword. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Until next time, see ya!